Hey everybody, look on the screen. Uh, let's talk about the judges that are so going to protect their son. Well, I'll say judge here. And it just shows you that no matter what, they'll women will protect the sons at all costs, risking their livelihood, their careers, risking their very lives. So check this out. This will be part A, the report. Then I'll go ahead and do uh, part B, which will be the commentary. Check it out. Fair use. Unreal. Judge who considers herself an advocate for children should be removed from the bench and disbarred for lying about her son's child abuse. And that's the ruling by a state commission following a Fox 2 problem solver investigation on Wayne County Judge Tracy Green. My dad would tell her about a bruise that I had or something, and she'd put makeup on it because we had to go to school and stuff. She didn't want people to see. I didn't put makeup on any bruises to conceal any abuse. That is utterly preposterous. So he it made just it up. didn't happen. In 2019, Gary Davis Head mm. was convicted of beating his children. He was found guilty on two felony counts of child abuse. It was five months after his children mm. told Fox 2 that he had beat them and that his mother, Wayne County Family Court Judge Tracy Green, helped cover up the abuse. ML Elric broke the story for Fox 2 News. I am certainly capable of protecting children from my perch as a Third Circuit Court Judge. There is nothing that I have done or would ever do to jeopardize the safety of any child, particularly a child that I love. And what I'm saying to you, Mr. Elric, is that I've done nothing wrong. I've not failed to do something that I should have done. And that's the bottom line. Gary Davis had told the judge he only beat his children with a belt to correct them. Mm. During sentencing in October of 2019, his first wife, Corey Bressler, told the court David Head used his mother's connections to protect him. Their father beat them brutally for years without fear of any repercussion because of who his mother is. Judge Tracy Green created and raised a monster. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead. And it looks like they basically, I mean, they've been checking out, checking her out before. This was a report in 2019, okay? 2019. Uh, with regard to the very same issue, <sighs> anything for these sons, I just cannot wrap my head around it. Check this out. Wayne County Circuit Court Judge Tracy Green is facing several counts of judicial misconduct in an alleged cover-up in connection with her son, Gary Davis Head, who was charged and convicted in 2019 in a case involving his two sons. False statements by judges are a serious thing. Lynn Helen, the executive director for the Michigan Judicial Tenure Commission, says Judge Green made false statements about her knowledge of the abuse and covered up evidence. We found evidence that she had been aware of abuse that her son was committing and then had made some efforts to cover up some of that abuse. And then when asked about it, had provided false information about her knowledge. The complaint alleges Judge Green was aware that her son was prone to abusive behavior and stern punishment, also using a belt on his two sons, both under 11 years of age. The complaint also mentions Judge Green was made aware of the abuse by her grandchildren and even saw marks on one of the boys' faces, who said they were done by his father. Green is also accused of trying to hide some of the abuse by using makeup to cover up bruises. The commission thought it was serious enough to bring charges and uh, depending on how those charges play out, the Supreme Court will have a chance to pass on the seriousness of it as well. Judge Green's son was convicted mm. of two counts of second degree felony child abuse. We did reach out to Judge Green for comment, but haven't heard back. Next, there will be a hearing in which Green will have the opportunity to tell her side about what happened. A master will then make a recommendation. Then after that, the commission will decide whether or not there is enough evidence to move forward. No date has been determined for that hearing now wow anything to protect your son anything to protect your son go down with the sinking ship risk everybody's livelihood i'm going to show one more clip remember this clip and the uber driver remember this guy um he was found guilty of murder stabbing the girl they said what 120 times out of all that this shows you how they will stand beside these sons no matter what. Daughters, that's a different video. 
out of all that, listen to his mother. Remember this? Okay. Nathaniel Rowland. Stand by your son. Thank you, Your Honor. The state has accused our son of a crime that he have, didn't commit. You no, know, I'm not going to hear all right. any but, claim of, of innocence. Okay. He's been convicted he, by the jury. Okay. He is a very caring young man. This is a young man who went through high school, college, played ball, acted in his church. Never had anything against him. Mm -hmm. Now I know as a mother, and a mother knows her child. I know my son didn't do it. I know. How do you but, know that, sir? How do you know that? By the way, I raised him. Pardon? By the way, I raised him. And when you are a mother, and you are a truly good mother. And you raise your child in the right way. Hmm. You would know when that child has done something or did something right or wrong. I can't. I can't. And I know he didn't do this. Well, but I'm not hearing yes, of what okay. he did or didn't do. Yes. He's guilty of murder. He's yes. guilty of, of kidnapping. Yes, He's guilty of possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime. And if you had any any testimony that you wanted to give for the jury to consider, the trial was the time to do that. I'm not listening to any claim of what he did not do. You are not a witness. But he's a loving child. He's a loving person. Yeah. And respect us. Yep, and he went to jail. So, thanks for watching. This is part A. I'll put it all together in part B, which, as you know, is the commentary. Stick around. My son.